What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be unboxing a bunch of live animals. This box is just for show. Probably just gonna use it on the thumbnail. And throughout this video, I'm really tired and I kind of had a headache because FedEx, or not FedEx, so I keep calling it FedEx because that's what I used to ship, but UPS came pretty late or pretty early. So I had to wake up earlier than what I usually wake up uh, to get these guys but it's okay because they're all doing perfect. I already took them out. These boxes are actually empty and I'm filming the intro after because I was too lazy in the morning to film the intro. But I actually didn't include this in the video because it came late and I found this box outside of my house. Um, my house, how I have it is that there's fence in the front so nobody could come in and they can't, um, they can't drop off boxes or anything. But the guy from USPS, he just left the box on the driveway so that was a little weird, but this isn't that big a deal. I'll just show you right now what these are. These are these were feeder insects that I got. There's some roaches, and I actually hate roaches so much, but they're cleaner than crickets. Let me show you. And they're a lot easier to breed than crickets as well. So there it is, a roach for all the animals. They're easier to care for, or yeah, easier to care for, easier to breed. They don't smell bad, they don't jump and they're actually healthier for the animals as well so you know it's not a big deal uh these are clean roaches too they're not like the wild roaches uh that eat like poop and stuff from other animals these have been bred in captivity all they eat is fruits and vegetables so i'm not disgusted by them and they actually look kind of cool this these are discoid roaches if i remember correctly i don't know too much about roaches to be honest i've never actually fed them um but yeah this is the biggest one that's in there too, so it's pretty cool. So hopefully that does well. I just wanted to show you them real quick because I'm not going to be talking about them in the video. This is going to be a reptile unboxing, not a cockroach unboxing. But if, if I do put that in the, I could actually just put 111 animals in the title, get some more views. But no, I'm just kidding because, you know, it's already going to be this video. There's 11 animals in here, but... Uh, don't overhype it because it's nothing too crazy, but in the future I am planning on getting some crazy animals so unboxing So make sure you guys are subscribed for that and after the unboxing I got a little funny clip of my friend trying to grab the tegu so make sure you guys stick around for that So yeah, let's start unboxing these guys So you can see look live animals right here Why are you kicking her out? Why would you kick her out? She was perfect She was making too much noise she was all right, so after two days of waiting, three days of waiting, because I ordered it this weekend, they're finally here. Wait. We're gonna keep waiting, I had to make a TikTok. All right, so today we're gonna be unboxing 11 new reptiles. So let's get this started. Finally get to open this, we've been waiting for such a long time. I've been waiting since this weekend on Sunday. This is the receipt. Nice. <laughs> it's so cool. All right, so the first thing in the box it's a baby leopard tortoise. And these guys are like hatchlings, like they're less than a month old. I thought they were gonna be older. We got a bunch of hatchling leopard tortoises. And your baby common snapping turtle. All right, so here we go, all the little baby tortoises. We actually had a lot more room for more. We thought that they were gonna be bigger already because on the pictures, they were much larger. So I guess they just sent us hatchlings. We were thinking they were gonna be bigger uh, baby leopard tortoises. So yeah, these guys are about a month old and I know that just by looking at them, not because they told me. But these guys are going to be available on my website, shadowsreptiles.com. If you guys are interested in purchasing some of these, uh, not all of them are gonna be available and uh, the common snapping turtle is not gonna be available. 
So the reason that I got baby leopard tortoises and not adults is because they can't be uh, adults from other states or countries and then brought into Florida because the humidity in Florida would actually get them a respiratory infection. If you want to keep them in Florida, you have to uh, raise them up here so that they're able to handle the humidity. So there we go. We're going to be setting up the baby leopard tortoises now. And we're going to be setting up the common snapping turtle in the next video. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss that. Right, let's, we're going to soak all these babies now. That's what I like to do whenever I receive tortoises. And whenever I ship tortoises out to you guys, that's what I tell you to do. So there we go. 10 baby leopard tortoises soaking, getting some water. And all of these guys look perfect. They're all really healthy. At first they were a little spooked and now they're doing amazing. And that's when I ship out tortoises, a lot of people get worried because initially, uh, not just tortoises, but most reptiles, when they come, they're going to be spooked. They're going to be, they were remember, they were shipped overnight. So it's not uh, unsafe for them, but it is a different experience just being in the dark for 12 hours. So they're going to be a little spooked when they come out, a little nervous. But after a, probably a round of day, they're going to be perfect again. These guys actually adjusted really quickly. So these guys, they're going to be available on my website. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these guys or a couple of them, they're available at shadowsreptiles.com. This is terrifying. All right, so we're going to get the tegu out so that we can put the baby. Well, he's going to get the tegu out because it was his idea. So we're going to... What happened? He hasn't even moved yet. <laughs> We're gonna get the red tegu out of here so that we could put him inside, or so that we could put him inside to get the baby leopard tortoises out of here. Obviously, we gotta change the substrate and all that. All right, go ahead. What are you waiting for? I don't like being recorded in this. It makes it so much worse. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Because I feel like you know. If, you wanna, if you're gonna lose your finger, you gotta lose it for something. Okay, chill, bro. <laughs> it's not that bad. Look, she's vibing. She hasn't even moved. Open the box. Chill. She hasn't even oh, moved yet. No, I do not like that shot. <laughs> she didn't even move. You scared me, bro. With the fucking, you woke it up. I was thinking about it. Didn't do anything. What if we pin her? Oh, You're aggressive. It's a little baby tape. It's not that big a deal. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Yeah, take off the gloves, smart. That way you got a better grip. I don't want to see something. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> okay. And you just focus here. And these guys, are, they'll jump out to get whatever is scaring them. You see? Hello, don't bite my fingers. There you go. So yeah, she got aggressive after coming out here. Before she was fine. I don't know. I think the sunlight or maybe just the new enclosure got her a little angry. trouble walking on it we're gonna have to pat it down because this is fluffy all right so that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys want to see me set up this little baby common snapping turtle make sure you guys subscribe so you can see me do that it's gonna be the next upload that i do uh, probably in a day or two so thank you guys for watching make sure you leave a comment and like and have a great day